an important message from Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of Vasoflux and Vasoflux for Men. If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaque Out. Plaque Out is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins and prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856. And remember, to help unclog veins and arteries, get the plaque out. Well, I got that real gas pack. Shout out to Loud Pack Jizzle. My nigga A Jizzle. Bless the nigga with some of that goodery goodery. Hey, and shit and hit the fan, y'all, with this whole <laughs> face on love a fool. Eating got started up, some stirred up, man. It all stemmed from Big Worm going bad on Dave East on the Uncensored Truth podcast. For some reason, he was motivated. Shout out to all my Harlem crib. He was motivated to go bad on Dave East for whatever reason. And then, in his commentary on going bad on Dave East, cuz like, he mentioned, you know, MC8 had did some recent work with Dave East, so, you know, in his chess game, Cuz spoke on MC8, giving Cuz more props than he even deserved. He, like, made some commentary like, damn. Someone, he said whatever he had to say about Dave East that was negative. And then his commentary about MC8 was, I was surprised to see MC8 with Dave East, being that he's such an original, solid, whatever. Uh, Crip. He couldn't believe that he, he stamped Dave East. And he suggested that, oh, he must have did that just for music. Which, when I heard that, I didn't really feel or think or see anything offensive about that tour MC8. He was definitely offensive tour uh, Dave East. And his commentary that mentioned MC8 was totally uh, different from what the, the commentary on 8 was. He was basically putting their characters in contrast and saying that, Eight was a real one, and Dave East wasn't, and he was surprised to see such a real one standing next to such a fake one. That's what he said. So I was kind of shocked when MC8 got real defensive. For one, I don't even really know MC8 for being on the internet, you know, doing a lot of, like, responding to things, every little tidbit somebody say about him. And that didn't seem offensive enough to make him come out his character. But it's crazy because his boy Chill spoke up on it, and was trying to say, oh, it looked like people doing this for podcast views. But it seemed like to me that MC8 motivation for responding was to get some podcast views or some internet presence or to keep his name going. Because he's been doing the circuit a little bit with the interviews lately, too. So, Chill jumped in it. He, uh, first of all, he threatened uh, Big Worm and stay out of Crip Business last warning. So, the last warning has been given already, right? But Big Worm ain't stayed out of no crib business. So um, just recently, uh, what done happened was, the, I, I, it can't, it's just it's come, this guy's coming to my DM, y'all, on my mama, mama, y'all. I'm not scrolling, seeing these titles, clicking on, keeping up. It's just kind of my DM. People are like, check this out, check this out. So I'm trying to think of the progression. So the next thing I seen was another clip. Phase I love speaking on the subject again. And he was discussing something that 8 said on the subject. And I didn't see 8, whatever 8 said, but I just knew Phase on Love was like, yeah, 8, left out the G because the G ain't in you. It ain't in you. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn. To, and, and that's, you know what? That is one of the coldest diss lines, in my opinion, ever. E-I-H-T. Now, should I continue? You left out the G because the G ain't in you. I say that because, like, Whenever 8 decided to spell his name without the G, cuz. 
what made you do that? If uh, whoever wrote that rap, if it was quick or somebody wrote it for him, whoever picked pick that out and made it the lyric, that was genius on oh, my mama, mama. But anyway, uh, this just blow my mind. It made me feel crazy. Like, I be trying to be nice. I see why Nipsey said just be yourself, Spider. Cuz used to seem so nice and get along with everybody. I used to suggest to Cuz, like, Cuz, I need to be more like that. And Cuz be like, no, nah, SBR, you just got to do you. But I came out on my first mixtape, Bangadocious. I had a line said, I was born in Compton with an MC's fate. Get more love from track news than MC8. Hit a CPT like a CC rider, but this ECC, I'm the BG spot. I said that because I was aware of things about MC8 character that made it, uh, I knew he wasn't nobody to respect in these streets. So I felt comfortable saying that. However, through the years, being in the game, hitting a lot of the same corners, knowing a lot of his homies, and having one of his homies in particular who has a passion for music and industry and a love for eight and always wanted eight to be more of a homie than he was, who was Pop, my homie Pop, shout out Pop. I fell in a line of respect, and at some point I approached eight at a function and kind of cleared up the fact that uh, I had shit on him like that and um, admitted that it was uh, unnecessary for me to say that. And so since then, I have carried myself a lot more responsible when discussing 8, being respectful on the Illiterate Project. I got a song called uh, Understood, and I actually say I'm in track Newport getting high with AWAC. So me trying to be nice, extend... Um, Extend my hand of love on some G shit to niggas who, uh, who probably don't uh, deserve it, and I did it anyway. Just you know, just to be p politically cool and and just you know show love. But then, cause now the nigga phase on love jump out of nowhere and say that the boy eight is a rat. So I'm like, huh? He said that on one video. Then somebody sent another video. He started naming who he um he told on. So apparently, y'all, it's a big deal. Uh, D boy from Chicago. Uh, what's cuz name? Hold up. I think his name is Tim. Um, uh, Tim Hill, I think. But I'm gonna make sure just cause I ain't finna misquote this shit. Oh my mama, mama. My bad. Let me find that name real quick. It's cause it's like a a legendary ass nigga. And it's crazy. Uh Nate Hill. Nate Hill. Nate Hill up out of Chicago. Multi million dollar nigga from the ground up. And uh he uh allegedly gave eight like a hundred thousand or something for a movie. And then when he was under charges, facing federal charges, at a grand jury indictment, and y'all know when, a, when you a kingpin, he facing kingpin type charges. Um, being able to afford certain things is what um, the federal government would like to prove against you, where you spent money and how much money you had. And it was on MC8. He testified before the grand jury that this man had a hundred thousand just to give him for a project. Blew my motherfucking mind. And then it puts in light. Somebody also put in my DM an interview where they was asking A his thoughts on Takuchi being a rat. And how he was like very lenient when it came to like judging Takuchi and talking about. But it, it's also ironic how he put his foot in his mouth. Because he talk about niggas who snitch been busters and been ain't been solid. And on my mama mama. I've been known, cuz I ain't got no, I, I just ain't no hater, cuz, so. When I see out-of-towners, other people in the world give MC8 this gangster ass uh, reputation, credit, props, I don't ever chisel into it. I let it be, because I know it's based on the AWACS character. I learned that being around New York niggas in the early 2000s. It's like. Minister Society to them was they Bible of understanding our way of life. I used to be on tour with New York niggas 
and they would quote a line from Minister Society of Boys in the Hood at least two, three times a day, just clowning, joking, you know, being friendly with me from being West Coast relating to me. Those those lines of the movies was like their idea of who we were and who we was. And because of a role in it, he was that nigga to him. You see, like, you know, it, uh, uh, Lloyd Banks probably can't quote one MCA line, but even in his music, on a popular song, you ain't got to all go all the way to Compton to get your MCA. All oh, that's established off that movie, cuz. And just for the whole area, I was born and raised in the same neighborhood that MCA from, so I was just proud of the shine for the area. I didn't feel like it was my business to start knocking it down. That's one for the whole section. Because there's a federal cooperator that sat on the stand on the behalf of the prosecution and provided testimony that led to aid in the conviction of a real one. Shout out, cuz. That blew my mind. E-I-H-T. Should I continue? Left out the G because the G ain't in you. So now, where do we put MC8 now, y'all? Oh, my mama, mama. It's like... I just had to get that out what time. Y'all already know, but I don't know about these cats. I'm a little different when it comes to SPI. Oh, my mama, mama. When you free, G you out free me, drinking straight up out the bottle. And I'm blowing. Ben ain't been solid. And on my mama, mama, I've been known because I ain't got no, I, I just ain't no hater because so. When I see out of towners, other people in the world give MC8 this gangster ass uh, reputation, credit, props. I don't ever chisel into it. I let it be because I know it's based on the AWACS character. I learned that being around New York niggas in the early 2000s. It's like minister society to them was they Bible of understanding our way of life. I used to be on tour with New York niggas. And they would quote a line from Minister Society of Boys in the Hood at least two, three times a day, just clowning, joking, you know, being friendly with me from being West Coast relating to me. Those those lines of the movies was like their idea of who we were and who we was. And because of a role in it, he was that nigga to him. You see, like, you know, it, uh, uh, Lloyd Banks probably can't quote one MCA line, but even in his music, on a popular song, you ain't got to all go all the way to Compton to get your MCA. All oh, that's established off that movie, cuz. And just for the whole area, I was born and raised in the same neighborhood that MCA from, so I was just proud of the shine for the area. I didn't feel like it was my business to start knocking it down. That's one for the whole section. Because there's a federal cooperator that sat on the stand on the behalf of the prosecution and provided testimony that led to aid in the conviction of a real one. Shout out, cuz. That blew my mind. E-I-H-T. Should I continue? Left out the G, cuz the G ain't in you. So now, where do we put MC8 now, y'all? Oh, my mama, mama. It's like... I just had to get that out what time. Y'all already know, but I don't know about these cats. I'm a little different when it comes to SPI. On oh, my mama, mama. When you free me, you know. you know, free me, drinking straight up out the bottle. And I'm blowing on that bomb. Weed is green as avocado. I'm a G out here. I swear, nigga, I'm a G out here. Nigga, I'm a G out here. I swear. I'm, a G out here. I'm the crookedest criminal, the craft is crazy Got a crush on the chronic so my laugh is lazy I was born out of wedlock, the bastard baby And just maybe the pain from my past will pay me I'm Swayze, nothing like Patrick though I got drama in my life, it ain't theatrical I'm just a G, nothing like these busters be Sticking to the script is a must for me I blew trial once, plus the plea That's why I spent so many months locked in custody Me and my unit, feel like what's for we and it's true 
crew, we do anything for us to eat. Yak go with tobacco, I love new ports. Riding Apple birth my boss, I love New York. Y'all talking like hoes, must be my year. I'm sincere when I say I'm a G out here. Straight up out the bottle And I'm blowing on that bomb Weed is green as avocado I'm a G out here, I swear Nigga, I'm a G out here G Hard on the three yard when I was 18. Coast banging, done seen what these cowards ain't seen. I went mainstream, but I kept to my roots. I done rode with the red team and slept in my boots. Where it wasn't where I'm from, it was all about my race. It crack, I take flight, forget all about my case. I'm a rider, I'ma get down with the cause. And when it crack, I'ma get down with the laws. I'm focused, it ain't like I can't die. But I'm the locust LA rapper, I can't lie. Wanna test that fact, I doubt it. Yes, that guy. Got off a of Femi and I blessed that track No need to question it, guess that sack Was filled with bomb kill and I popped that pill I dream about heaven, talk all about hell And I claim 9-7 but I'm all about mail I'm all free me, drinking straight up out the bottle And I'm blowing on that bomb Weed is green as avocado I'm a G out here, I swear Nigga, I'm a G out here I'm a G out here, I swear. I'm a G out here. Who kid? Spot a low. Bay Mac. Be about your money. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm just curious to know now, though, chill. Faison back up in Crip business. He done violated your last warning. You chose to put that warning out there. Everybody knows when you warn somebody not to do something, and then they do it, it's supposed to be consequences repercussions you make this public declaration of a warning so what's next chill what you gonna do chilly chill chill <laughs> nah i'm just playing cuz oh blah, 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 blah. but i'm curious y'all curious y'all we stay in tune it ain't like it's a private warning that i'm making public cub made this warning publicly he said it was the last one <laughs> Like a little hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right.